Have you ever considered how artificial intelligence could be the key to addressing global poverty? Yes, you heard right. Artificial intelligence, commonly known as AI, the technology often associated with self-driving cars, voice assistants and personalized recommendations, can also play a crucial role in understanding and combating poverty. AI is versatile, with a vast range of applications that extend beyond what we could have imagined a few years ago. It's not just about robots and futuristic tech. AI is about problem solving, about making sense of complex data, and about providing insights that humans might overlook. So, how does poverty fit into this picture? Well, researchers have found a unique use case for AI, one that could potentially revolutionize how we approach global poverty. They've used AI to measure poverty and other human development indicators from a perspective we've never seen before, from satellite imagery. This approach gives us a bird's eye view, quite literally, of the wealth distribution across regions and helps identify areas that need immediate attention. This is not a science fiction story. It's the groundbreaking research conducted at Lund University and Harmstad University. The research team embarked on an ambitious project, training an artificial intelligence system to measure poverty. In order to accomplish this daunting task, the team employed a specific type of artificial intelligence known as a Deep Convolutional Neural Network, or DCNN for short. This type of AI excels in analyzing and interpreting visual data, making it an ideal choice for this experiment. The team began by feeding the DCN a massive amount of satellite imagery. These weren't just any images, but rather, they were low-resolution daytime satellite images. Despite their low resolution, these images contain a wealth of information hidden in plain sight, waiting to be deciphered. The DCNN was trained to analyze these images and identify specific features that may indicate levels of wealth or poverty. This could be anything from the density of roads and buildings to the layout of urban areas, and even the presence or absence of certain types of infrastructure. The AI system was then put to the test, tasked with deducing poverty levels from these images. The results were nothing short of impressive. The AI demonstrated a level of precision that surpassed even the most experienced human analysts. This wasn't just a testament to the power of AI, but also to the richness and complexity of the data contained in these seemingly simple images. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of this experiment was the way in which the AI system saw the world. To the AI, these weren't just images, they were representations of a complex social reality. The AI was able to see and interpret this reality in a way that no human could. It saw a world marked by stark contrasts, areas of wealth and prosperity juxtaposed against regions of poverty and deprivation. What the AI saw was not just a bunch of images, it was a world marked by disparities in wealth distribution. So, what did the AI associate with poverty and wealth? This question led researchers at Lund University and Halmstad University on a journey with fascinating results. The AI system, a deep convolutional neural network, was trained to analyze satellite images to assess poverty levels. When the AI looked at these images, it began associating certain features with wealth. Road density and urban layout were significant markers of wealth. The more intricate the road network, the higher the perceived wealth. Similarly, a well-planned urban layout was another sign of prosperity. But the AI didn't stop there. It also identified indicators of poverty, juggling complex data to create a nuanced picture of wealth and poverty globally. This wasn't just about looking at a single house or street, but understanding the larger context in which they exist. The implications of these findings are profound. They challenge our understanding of poverty and wealth, showing us that these concepts are far more complex than we might initially think. They also highlight the potential of AI in providing a more nuanced understanding of our world. Turns out, AI's vision of wealth and poverty is more insightful than we could have imagined. What does this mean for the fight against global poverty? Let's delve into that. The potential of this AI technology in combating poverty is truly immense. Imagine a world where aid is no longer delivered haphazardly. Instead, it is targeted precisely to the areas most in need. This is the promise of AI. It is the promise of technology as a tool for change. The implications go beyond merely identifying poverty-stricken areas. AI can help us understand why these areas are impoverished and what can be done to alleviate their circumstances. It can help us to identify patterns and trends, 
to predict where poverty might strike next, and to implement preventative measures. This is the power of AI. It's not just about computers and algorithms, it's about human lives. It's about using technology to tackle some of the most pressing societal issues of our time. It's about making a tangible, meaningful difference in the world. AI is more than a tool. It is a partner in our quest for a better, fairer, more equitable world. It is a testament to the ingenuity and compassion of the human spirit. With AI's eye in the sky, we have a powerful new tool in our arsenal to combat poverty.